Monday morning back at the quarry this time I'm here to get my sand and gravel mix so we can start filling this concrete wall in Hi we're Ian and Julie follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt free project of a lifetime the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees and all of this alongside our full time jobs getting pros at this now Woo good morning welcome back right a bit of concreting now um we're just going to put the caps on where are they there they are the caps on that wall julie has just gone and got the sand and gravel and i brought it down with the tractor but first we do actually want to take the tractor back to our um our other house um basically because we julie got to take all the muck out of uh, tyson's the horse stable and um, it's easier with the tractor and the trailer so we can take it to the field and create some compost ready to put all across here for our new garden so i am just <laughs> pointing i am just going to flatten off all that um, sort of plaster brick that my son dropped off just so i can get the tractor up quite easily so um, one thing i do have to watch though and i'll show you now is that i don't cover up too much by this manhole here um, because that is our water and our electric conduit which has got a cut across here and where that post is and that post there will be another retaining wall exactly the same height as this so the driveway will go all the way to that and I will basically poke the, um, the conduit and the water pipe out of there similar to just down here i'll put another manhole there and that'll be in readiness for when we actually put the house so um i don't want to fill up this too much at the moment because i'm gonna to have to dig it all out although this is the actual height here that um i'll be i won't have to trench out i'm just gonna to have to make up so i'm just going to keep that in mind We part the cock. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Well, we've just collected uh, four more little girls for our egg collection. We've got four already and we're just putting that up to eight. So uh, we've come quite far actually. It's about 100 kilometres to get here uh, because our old supplier basically has just shut down. So um, yeah, no, there's, these are six months, six months old, they said. And they look pretty good. So back home and then get these introduced to our other four. Hopefully they won't all have a big scrap. Uh, Ali, just got back. God, that's quite far away actually. But um, we're just gonna rest them in the, uh, the barn here first before introducing them to the other chickens tonight. And before that, Julie's got to clean out the coop and I've got to put in an extra perch. Now we've got eight in total. 
Ooh. All right, better put him in. We go from the nice little babies to these evil little vultures. I love them. Come on, girls. Oh, I know. I've got you. Uh, got them a pot of treats. Let's see where we're going. We're coming. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Come on, girls. I've just scrubbed, cleaned, washed, dried the chicken coop. Um, and now I've just gone all over it again in the excuse my pronunciation the special white diatomesis earth <laughs> it's a tongue twister so that's gone everywhere and that this is on the recommendation of all you guys when i had the problem with the red mite and i have been dowsing this house in that ever since every week when i clean them out and fingers crossed all the mite issues have gone but it seems we've just been and got four new little ladies. I wanted to make sure that it was spotlessly clean. And before the girls come in to the others, I'm going to give them a little treatment as well. So the bed's all nice and clean for my girls. We're going to introduce them tonight. So once all these uh, original girls have gone to bed, we'll then sneak the others in through the uh, the back hatch and uh, see if there's a lot of squawking. But everybody says um, put them in at night time. So we'll uh, at the moment they're in the stable wandering around. They all look quite nice. Um, they're in Tyson's hay. Hopefully uh, they're fed. Some of them have got um, they've been henpecked because they've probably come from a massive hatchery. Um, but it looked a nice place anyway. Right, we'll wait for tonight. Two. Two, oh, I'm not spoiling you that much, Mr. Right. Bit of a break. Um, <laughs> these things here we get from Spain. Spain's not too far from us, so we uh, tend to go into Spain for a bit of shopping. Chicken and everything is so cheap and it's much, much better quality. And they do these little, like, croissant, but filled. Oh, that. I wish you could try cream. these. Cream. Oh my god, we only have one because there's so many calories. These are a naughty treat whenever we pop over the border. So yeah, they're only teeny tiny. I'm sure we're going to build. We're going to burn these calories off. But, uh, so I've um, compacted all that gravel down for the, um, the the old tiles and things. The horrible muck. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> so we we need to cover that up with um, some proper twenty zero twenty soon. But mm. we. Before we do that, we've got to empty this trailer of all the sand and gravel and make that into cement. So that is the next task. I'm hoping the rain will, uh, will it, well, it, it's black over there. We've got some boards anyway, so I can put those boards over the top of it. So it should be all right. But, and we're oh. only doing this first row, not the gabion. So mm. we should be all right, fingers crossed. Coffee and juicy gooey croissants. Whoa. Well, just as we got up from our uh, coffee break, the rain has started and we just checked on the weather app and there's probably 12 mil due this afternoon. Now we could actually get it done, but I'm just worried about the, uh, the heavy rain ruining the surface. So uh, we're gonna put all the kit away. It's gonna be a nice, nice day tomorrow. We'll be up here first thing and we'll get it done. But uh, so that means we can get off and uh, look at some fence posts because why? <laughs> We were a couple of days away and it looks like the local authority has come down with their massive tractor and their um, big, big cutter, you know, the ones on the back of the tractor, and basically shredded the side of the bank for us. We didn't ask for it. They probably just got annoyed because we haven't touched it. So that's a good opportunity for us to try and fence the top of that and also put down some um, landscaping fabric and try and sort of quell all those weeds and then we can plant it with nice plants. So... Um, a little trip out to the uh, suppliers just to take a look. Right, Jude, can you get that uh, concrete <laughs> put away? I've only just unwrapped it. Oh, so <laughs> annoying. But uh, can't, you can't help it. It's autumn, isn't it? We've, yeah. Only a few weeks ago, we were complaining it was too hot. So, uh, We've not 
got done bad. We've not had that much rain. No. no. We've got... We could do this tomorrow. We've got other projects we could be yeah. doing today. It's not a problem. <laughs> right, we'll probably see you in the morning. Yeah. All my chores before we head up to the plot to start the concrete. Take two. Here's Mr Tyson waiting for breakfast. And what's his mum got? Oh, let's see. Here's a carrot. <laughs> Good boy. Let's get your brekkie first. I have three little ladies waiting for me. Let's go find the new ones. Hello, girls. Brekkie first. Come on, then. Our four little girls straight to breakfast. And if I come over the house, there's the new ones. There's one, she's working her way to them. Come on, little babies. I think everybody's happy. There's a little bit of, ooh, a little bit of fighting going on. Hello. I know, you've got some new sisters. Hello, Smokey. We've only had these new chickens a couple of days, but oh my gosh, my egg production has doubled. I need to find some recipes. Help! I'm egged out. Good morning. Well, it rained a lot last yesterday, so I'm glad we didn't actually do it. But um, the sun is out now. It's quite early. The sun is just coming up, so it's a bit chilly here still. Although Julie is still in shorts. <laughs> it feels like Groundhog Day. We've got the same clothes on. <laughs> well, we didn't really use them yesterday. No. We got what we wanted yesterday, and we're going to pull that out of the van later. But. Um, Yep, let's get concreting. <laughs> One good thing about the rain, it soaked everything in here. So the concrete's not going to dry out too much. But as I showed in the last video, we've got um, a couple of rebar suspended about an inch down and an inch across, just to reinforce the corners. As well as the rebar, I'm using this fibre, this um, little pieces that you put into the mix, and that's just to strengthen it again because it's 100 mil, so it's four inch high concrete, and also hydrofuge liquid, which is a... Um, a waterproofing liquid basically um, so uh, that it won't soak all the rain in because it is on the top of the actual wall so they're the two things I'm putting in to the mix which I wouldn't normally put in for other stuff These buckets have been out in the rain from yesterday where we did load them up, so they are pretty soggy, so I'm not using any more water.
quite a lean mix here, but um, I'm going to use the bucket just to fill the top. Um, it should come out nice. The next one won't be so wet. No, it's not too bad actually. Nah, that's fine. Good old slump. I'd say a four, isn't it? <coughs> Been watching too many concreting videos. And once um, this has gone off a little bit, I'll take these uh, suspension wood out so I can uh, trowel him down nicely. Not going to use my big vibrator, but just uh, the edge of this uh, recip saw. Hopefully, it'll work. Take some of that excess off. Right, I'll just finish this off. Yeah? No, that's all right. No, that looks nice though. Do you want to put two buckets of that in there? Yep. I think four mixes <sighs> will be all right. So I put this little, the little one of stones in first? Yeah, put that one in. Ooh! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's heavy! Sloppy inside as well. No, I'd be all right. Yes, the original bucket and the new one. Yeah. On. Action! Right. Where's the bucket gone? Oh, sorry, that was me. Hang on, I got him. And the trowels and everything. Yeah, well, you just used one. I'll There's a trowel. I've got one. Yeah. So we have quite a little bit of cement mixture left over. No, not left over. I specifically. Well, yes, it was planned. <laughs> So, while it was raining, yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Right, I forgot. I need to, outside was lovely and wet from the rain. That uh, I'm just going to wet the boards in the bottom a little bit. A little bit more on the top and just smooth them off. Oh, 
take these uh, forms off quite early on and just chisel, not chisel, but basically scrape away the excess that comes under. We did it all when we did these last time for the main garage. None of this will be seen on the top because it will be part of the wall. It's purely just to give a bit of a sturdier base in case of any liquids or anything. And also that nice shadow gap. So the OSB isn't resting directly on the uh, floor. And when we do do it, the epoxy floor will just go up to the concrete and it will be a nice level. Oop. Right, this is my experiment to cut these little wires. Now it's gone off a little bit. And then hopefully, just chuck those down there and the little wires I can just push down. And then take a little bit. All the water's rising to the top now. So I'll get rid of all the bubbles. Just finishing this last corner and then I'll get rid of the excess in these gabions just to build up the sides so that goes off before we put the sloppier concrete in and then it won't all drain out onto the nice rocks. Right, not too bad a job. It's a bit wet but uh, it's not going off so that uh, hydrofuge must act, uh, act as a plastifier and uh, gives you a bit more time to work it with. But um, no, I'm pleased with that. So I'm going to let that go off. I'm not going to touch it again. I've been touching it and uh, you just make things worse. But uh, yeah. Right, he's all covered up because it's supposed to rain again tonight. Big storm coming across the UK, which means we just get the bottom half of it, but it might mean some rain. So uh, covered him all up, he should be good to go. Right, we're back, it's the next day um, after concreting. This morning, um, we went off quite far actually, nearly two hour drive to get some uh, pretty decent fence posts. Found them on Facebook Marketplace. We priced them up and these were basically half price. They're brand new, but the guy, we asked him, oh, why, why haven't you installed them in your house? He goes, I've lost interest now and the kids are older so they don't run off, which was quite a good excuse. So this one I want to take off because, um, well, this side you can't really see. There's a lot of um, bleed through on the floor. So I want to get it before it sets off properly. So I'm going to take these off. Take that off. All right, let's see what he looks like. He's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. Ah, that's fine. And then this one, this side. Oh, I haven't done that one yet. Thought I oh, I did. Just haven't. It's glued in. Ah, there we go. So the next stage is 
wait for this to dry a couple of days, then we'll paint on the rubberized paint. Um, again, it's not really for waterproofing, it's purely to give that nice black shadow gap for the OSB. And then we plant a sheet of OSB to make this into a separate room. As you can see in the background, we do have the door already. So um, I'm all set now to get these, this room actually uh, partitioned off, which uh, will, pretty, will feel pretty good, especially in the winter when it's uh, cold. We can come into this tiny little tech room and get a coffee, like we said before. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna let it dry off. Now I'm going to go outside and remove the wrapping from that uh, outdoor one, but I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to leave the forms on for a couple more days because it's going to heavy rain tonight. So it looks all right. I didn't really trowel it off too much, but uh, I'll just get some of this rough stuff off. This is off the wood anyway, but um, there was a wave here, which I don't like. I'm gonna try and get that off. <laughs> no, that's looking good. Because it's a hundred mil, I'm not gonna take the forms off yet. Um, and this war, this uh, was all very, very wet from the rain before. So I might take it off tomorrow. It's going to pour down, you can see from the clouds. Oh, I Hi there. Well, I'm back on site. It's been a few days. And uh, as you saw, Julie had left me at the beginning of the week. So um, I've had to survive. And uh, you know, all those eggs she had and she didn't know what to do with. Well, I've had a pretty good go at them. Um, I know I can cook eggs, I can scramble them, I can fry them, I can even boil them. So um, yeah, the girls have been keeping me alive while Julie's been uh, living it up in the UK. Uh, she's gone over there to see her dad and her brother and everything and hopefully get some uh, Christmas, UK Christmas treats to bring back here to France. So first things first, I have got to get these um, forms off this wall. Sorry about the noise. Uh, our neighbors are streaming all these heads line, trying to get rid of uh, that neighbor who hasn't turned up for years and his gar um, garden's all overgrown. It's been quite a few days now, probably a week since I did these um, caps. I will, should have taken them off earlier so I could have just scraped off the rough edges, but um, it's been awful weather, raining basically every single day. So I'm going to get on with these now, get them all off and see what they look like. Well, it's come out all right. Um, nice, nice square edges. You can just see there. You know, I mean, it's come down below the wood a little bit here, but uh, all of this is going to be rendered anyway, but at least it gives Julie a good, solid, that's not going to go anywhere, solid uh, base for the render. Now we've got to figure out how we get these gabions sort of strapped in a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's going to stick out a bit more, but hopefully it will be the same height just here, just here. There's plenty of sort of rebar and reinforcement all just here anyway. But um, if that works, that, that'll look nice. If it doesn't, then we'll just cover everything with uh, capping stones. But I think this part of the project, another win. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that wall. So uh, I'm gonna leave the video here. Tomorrow I'm picking Julie up. So um, she'll be definitely back in the next video, unless she doesn't get on the plane and she's having too much of a good time in the UK. But I'm hoping she's missed France, missed the homestead, and missed me. All right, so if you like this video, give us a cheeky thumbs up, as Julie always says, and uh, hit the subscribe and share the video as well. And we will see you next week. All right, see ya, bye from the Pyrenees.